here how the colour blends. It's from yellow red and so on. Uh, there's a there's a flower called the hot poker and basically hence the name poker shrimp. It's a nice fly to tie. Now the poker shrimp is a it's a good tie and there's a good tying methods within this fly that you'd like. And uh, as I see you could probably you could easily tie it and I've got this is a copper tube. And tie it bigger if you want, and different colours. Here's a larger one. This is a quarter inch. Good size fly. This is ideal for like spring this moment. And you could probably do quite well with that. But as I say, it's a good colour combination, and as well, it's it's some really nice tying tying methods that you may like to to see. Now the hook I'm using is a Sala. It's a size nine, uh, obviously in black. Thread, I'm going to use red uni thread and AO. Now, you could use a fire orange if you want, but red's fine. Now, I'm going to start. I measure around about 3mm. Now, this is to give you an idea of the area you need. You need to tie in all the materials now. That's 3mm from the bottom of the eye to where I've caught the thread in. And uh, that should give me the position for basically the wing and the hackles the front. Now I'm going to start work my way down. Now the first thing we tie in is some, this is a number 14 or a small oval gold tinsel. This is for the tag and the rib. So we form the tag first by simply catching it on and then winding the thread down until basically in line with the points of the hook and then wind the oval tinsel three to four turns down and then bring it between both hooks. Now we turn this underneath so you can see. If you look there, I'm pulling it tight and then catching it with the thread. For the tail, I'm just going to use some dyed yellow bucktail. Nice clean yellow. I'm just going to line up the ends. Now Tail length, there's, everybody likes their own length or likes a length that suits the water they're fishing. Uh, anything between one and a half the length of the hook, full length of the hook to twice or just slightly more, it's up to yourself. So I measure the full length of the hook there and then basically double that up and tie it over the back, tie it in. Then trim it the full length of the body. So basically that's up until the three mil part. Then a bit of flash in the tail. In this case it's just pearl crystal flash. Oh this is the Mirage version, it's just slightly shinier. Now what I'm gonna do is stretch it slightly. Line up the ends. Stretching it makes it go a wee bit straighter. Have it slightly less don't have the full length of the tail, but slightly less. Let's tie it on the top. Again, I trim this down to the length of the body. Then moisten these ends and lie them on your desk because I'm going to use a couple of them to finish the fly off. Now, like in this, if you were tying the park shrimp, what you would be doing is uh, putting some orange or so top and bottom or underneath the tail on top. In this case, I'm going to wind the uh, orange hen hackle. Tie it in by the tip and with a good side facing myself. Just make sure it's tied in. Okay, I'm going to trim this a full length of the body. And then it pays really to tidy up. Just take a thread up and back down. To that point there. And this is where you number of turns is up to yourself, it can be one turn, or two, or whatever, whatever you like. 
depends on the fibre of the, the, the hackle. Now I'm doing, a, so I'm going to do like a couple of turns or so. Come round, keep it nice and tight. Go up against the, the thread. Put a 90 degree bend into the hackle. Basically what that does, it helps lock in the turns and open out it opens the hackle out so that the thread turns into the stem. I trim this round about half halfway up because the reason I'm doing that and tidy up is this is a measure for the first part of the body and it's going to be dubbed. Oh, I'm just going to go back a bit here. Usually on the way back down I tie in the rib. Get the rib ready again. Same materials, oval, gold tinsel and smaller number 14. Just come in, catch it in. I'd I'd be a bit neater if it was uh, if I was doing a, a tinsel type body. Because you'd best to keep it as flat as possible. Now, what I'm going to use for the dubbing is the this is just a flash. There you go. It's called Red Fox. Uh, it's a signature dubbing by Future Fly. It's got a nice, a nice colour for this fly. And then I'm going to use a black and black rainbow version. So dub it on very light. Come right up against the hackle. Halfway up. Get that black, black rainbow. Now the black rainbow is well. There's a couple of companies make it, but there's a Salmo, this one here. Supreme Rainbow Black. And then again dub it on. Just feed it onto the fly halfway. If you feel it went slightly too far with the the orange coloured one, it's just to slightly overlap it and then feed it onto the the body, if you feed it like this and twist, you'll see a lot of the colour springing out. And that's what you want, you want that to happen, you don't want it to be too tight with it. Until you get to that about 3 mil or say away from the, the eye. And take away the excess. And then bring up, just watch your hackle, bring up your rib. Around about 4 to 5 turns. Anything going forward, just draw it back before the last turn comes up. Cross your thread. Now, I'm just a tiny bit of wax on here. Just make sure that everything stays nice and tight. And then, what I'm going to do is use a bit of Velcro to lift out some of the, the material, some of the flash and some of the dubbing. So watch your thread so you don't catch it. Now the wing is uh, this one here, but before I put the wing on, I'm going to use a, it's a hen dyed black, it's the same as the orange. And the wing's going to be this here, this is uh, hot yellow, hot orange it's called. And uh, again, it's with the same company, it's with Future Flying, and it's with the company there. And this is possum. Hackle I'm going to tie in, a hen hackle to say in black. It's a couple of turns to catch it in by the tip, two or three turns up, keeping the thread tight. I can break away the tip of the hackle. And then it could be a single turn, which is fine. Now both of these hackles I've used, the, the orange, the hot orange, and the black, I can tie another fly from these. I'll get easily another fly. So don't throw these away. So you'll get another fly out of that. Just tidy up that area. We touch a wax. And then tidy up your head or your area where you can tie in your wing. That's just the black darkens it down slightly. Just adds a wee nice mix to it. Now I'm going to take some of the hot orange, hot, hot yellow, hot orange, sorry, possum. Just going to take away some of the under fur. Get the. You see, there's some fine guard hairs. Just leave them in. You want the ends to reach probably halfway into the tail, or just to, towards the end of the, the 
Still on charcoal? Just come in and catch it. Do three turns. Move that wax again just to make sure it's not going to slip. Keep it on tight. Trim away the excess. At this point it's always best just to see how the hair's sitting. And that looks fine. Now to save a wee bit of space, I'm just going to tie in single, this is the flash I cut away earlier, the remains of the, the tail. I'm just going to take a single strand here and lay it on either side. Basically catching it on this side, the full length of the wing, coming down two or three turns, taking it over the head and making it sit on the other side. So then you've got a, a nice even split of flash. And uh, if you once this has been flattened a wee bit and the hackle tied in, you'll see that nice blend of colour that you get. That's why it's called the poker shrimp. Front hackle, I'm just going to use a bat. This is a badger hackle dyed chartreuse. You could use either Chinese or white necks. It's up to yourself. There's a few badger necks out there. I'm just going to pull it in with the front of the hackle facing myself and then by the tip. We lick a wax, fold this back, we tidy up that area, come back up, break off the tip, fold the hackle. Now you could fold it before you wind it on, or tie it in, sorry. It's up to yourself. I'm just going to build up. Looking, that looks fine to me, enough turns there. 90 degree bend into the, the stem and keeping the thread tight and then as you look as you can see there the thread turns are getting right into the, the stem of the hackle and I'm not catching in too many of these fibres because that adds the bulk to the head and then trim away now I could get another fly out of that hackle as well so don't throw it away tidy up to see how things are sitting Now have a wee quick look. That's fine. Now we've got two jungle cock eyes. Tie in. We've got two, two small eyes, looking about halfway into the wing. It's up to yourself now. I'm going to line them both up. Just You can lay one on top of the other. And then just pull back these fibres. Now you can tear them off, but times what it does, like there. You see how it tears away the hackle point? or the hackle, bot the bottom of the hackle. Um, sometimes it, it tears even shorter, but still long enough to catch in. And then I put both on at the same time, so I basically use the, the eye of the hook to separate them. Hold them finger and thumb. Come over with a couple of loose turns or so, just to position the, see where they're sitting. Then what I do is I squeeze them together here, just to see the length because it's very easy to get one slightly longer than the other just looking one slightly like this one was shorter so I've just pulled it towards the back just looks okay a wee bit of wax just to now people ask me how much wax to put in and it's a tiny wee bit it's very little and uh, you don't want a lot and then fold the back of these ends, come back up, just tidy up your area, your head area. Keeping the thread tight, I can break these off. This one's a wee bit short, so I can cut it away. Just take your time in bringing it out. Don't want to cut two, but I've cut hackle fibres away, so come in. There we are, job's done. And then come straight in and white finish. Nice and tight and trim away. When you show the top of the fly, show how the colour mix really works. You can see there the jungle cock eyes is slipping into the colour. And it's a lot of movement in this fly and that's what you want in a shrimp pattern. It's okay. Now I'm going to the, just brighten the head up. I'm going to use Glow Bright Floss number 4. This is this Chinese red colour. 
I'm just going to wax the th just the floss, just run it through once. And what that does basically draws these this floss together and makes it much easier to work with. And then we just form a nice head, just tying it in, just before the end, trim away the waste. See where you are, just check that you're sitting right. Just on and off as it says. Just come three or three tons or so is plenty. And then what finish. Just trim. Run me fibre in there and just trim away. So now yeah, what the way I varnish is really simple. It's just the quickest and strongest is to super glue. This is the Loctite Easy Brush Super Glue. By far the best, I feel, the, the best super glue to use. All the way around. Allow that to, to dry, which doesn't take long. You see a nice and bright head, a crank head. And you see a nice nice part. It's a, it's a mix. It's a good it's a good wee dressing just to mess around with. Uh, great practice, but at the same time, it will catch your fish. And uh, as I say, you can tie it in tubes or whatever. You can mix the colours. Here's one here I've, I've tied. Actually, two or three. You can see. I can show you. This is a like the sunburst version. Nice and bright. And here's one with the blue hackle, blue and orange. You can see another nice mix, nice colour blend. And even. You can go towards the green side. There we are. Again, another good colour combination. So, but then this is the the original. Just hence, which I call the poker shrimp. Which I think is a good name for it. Now, I, I, I'm not sure that super glue will be about dry. So I'm going to come round with the varnish this time. Take your time. I think there's a wee bit too much there. I'm just going to come in with it and you don't reduce it. And there we are. Nice and bright.